against Syracuse, but what we did do was avoid fatal mistakes. And to beat an Irish team that's impotent on offense, Clemson has to play mistake-free today. Now, oddly enough, Pete, uh, Notre Dame has played much better on the road than it has at home so far this year. So Dabo probably relishing the opportunity to take Clemson flags flying here in Athens for the Tigers. DoorDash Game Day Preps takes us to Clemson and Dabo's speech to the Tigers. Guys, it's all about the margin. I don't want anybody, you know, thinking you got to play perfect. Man, you got to go cut it loose. Man, you got you got to make that that cut. You got to go. You got to you got to go for that 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 great catch. Quarterbacks got to let it rip. All right, you got to have confidence and timing and let it rip. All right, you can't be afraid to put it up there on a one on one. You got to trust that receiver to make the play for you. Okay, you, you got to cut it loose. Here's the deal. Nobody's perfect, but if we have a turnover, we got to do what? Get it back. That's football. It's about winning the margin. There's nobody out there that says, hey, we, we, we can never have a turnover. No, we just got to win the margin. And take a look at today's road test presented by Goodyear. You see? What Dabo has done when outscoring opponents in the middle eight. Okay, the middle eight, that's the last four minutes of the second quarter and the first four minutes of the third quarter. Dabo was asked about it this week, and he goes, well, when I played, they said last five, first five, but the analytics guys say it's got to be the middle eight. <laughs> but they've really used it effectively to generate momentum. Yeah, he, he prides himself on winning that. And when they win that, they win games, as you see. And, and I think the focus this week, and I think Pat mentioned it earlier, is DJ Uyunglele. And we can get caught up in his ability to throw the ball. And he's improved in that area. He's more decisive. What I see is it's about his running game. When he's running the football, the offense has a better rhythm, and he throws the ball better. The last two games, not just Syracuse, but the last two, under two yards per carry, whereas earlier in the year he was running for five or six yards. And that's when the offense was really rolling. So can they get him going running the football, which will allow that open up their passing game? Through two picks last game when Cape Clubnet came in, Wonder if he struggles how quickly they'll consider going to the freshman. Well, and I love the fact that you're talking about the run game because the running back that they have and Will Shipley is an absolute dog. I mean, he is what makes that Clemson so team is tick. Back up. Yeah, yes. absolute He's studs in the back. Yeah. So like DJ Uyunglele, and we talked about it with that Notre Dame highlight. Oh, of course, Dabo has another guy who's going to be the guy. And then this year, it's kind of tempered out a little bit. He started playing good football. And Dabo has sat by him this entire time, said DJ's our guy. Love what DJ does. Love the way he handles it. Cade Klubnik comes in, and I know the authority Pete Dammel said he didn't like, you know, blow any expectation. The yeah. energy that came on the field was, as soon as he yeah, got there. Yeah, the yeah. team seemed to get going. Yeah. I think Clemson's got a squad, but they certainly have some stuff to figure out at the quarterback position. I don't know about you guys. When I heard Dabo, you know, just say, you know, emphatically, DJ's my guy. DJ's my quarterback. I'm like, are you trying on to convince field. me <laughs> yeah. or yourself? You know yeah. what I mean? Because it was after the game, and, you know, K. Klubnik came in, and like Pat said, he gave the offense a lot of energy. Now, Syracuse played their part, too. But there, there were some personal fouls that really helped drives continue yep. for Clemson in that game, too. So it's not like K. Klubnik came in there and was just throwing the ball over the yard. And then Will Shipley, the running back that McAfee talked about, he actually came alive, too. I believe that DJ will start this game. But we will definitely see K. Klubnik tonight against Notre Dame. Hey, Kate's I guarantee a natural. you that. Kate guarantee is a natural. Just throwing Athlete the ball every day. Very natural. Well, and, and I think when you look at the top teams in the country, all of them have a great side of the football, except Clemson. I, I think when I look at Clemson, they're good on defense. They're not. Gr I don't think they're great. They're not elite like they've been. Right, yeah. They're good on offense. They're not great like they've been. You start looking at everybody else with Ohio State and Tennessee and Michigan's offense and TCU's offense. You start comparing them. So I just wonder if they can get this offense fixed and not and get above good. You know, yeah. get to great to see if they can win and win in the college football playoff. Pac-12 teams, the other SEC teams, better root for Notre Dame tonight because after that, Clemson's got three.